What's up, y'all? This is your girl, Miss Maggie T. We're in the Falcons Nation. Want to go ahead and get right into the news and updates. Quite a bit to talk about. Starting off with the Falcons did add to their depth to the secondary. As of yesterday, we signed safety Henry Black to the 90-man roster. He actually spent time with the Green Bay Packers for about two seasons. He actually played in all 17 games as of last year. He played 73% of the team's special team snaps and 24% of the defensive snaps. Black finished the year with 38 total tackles, an interception, a pair of passes defense, and a forced fumble. Hey, but in order to make room on that roster, though, we did have to waive tight end Braden Linnaeus. Now, he comes to us from um, playing a few seasons with the Satchewan Rough Riders of the CFL, and he joined us back in January. But, you know, you know how the training camp goes. Get them in, get them out. It's all about competition. And as of yesterday, you know, um, at the early start of practice day two, they had a lot of one-on-one matchups and all 90 players were intended to watch that. I know that had to be exciting. You know, they're still out there trying to get adjusted to that heat. But nonetheless, being able to get a chance to get a little physical with a little protection, um, nonetheless, get some chemistry and get out there and just practice. Now, Arthur Smith did make a note that he um, shuffled the offensive line around as they attempt to find some starters at that right tackle, center, and left guard positions. It's all interesting enough to kind of keep an eye out on that, as well as um, also in press conference, running back Damian Williams said that, the biggest thing that you know the coaches are instilling in them is that versatility and as well as i've been hearing the conferences also that they just want those players to be in their natural styles as well you know so getting them kind of learning a new skill set so they'll be comfortable with that that way we can be placing those players on the field anywhere and they can adjust naturally to it but at the same time most likely keeping them where they're best at as well. But, you know, we just wanted to be where you don't know which way we're coming and going right there. Now, as well as um, Elijah Wilkinson actually noted that he worked at left guard and Matt Hennessy was at the center position as of yesterday. You know, they're going to rotate that around quite a bit, as I noted yesterday. Now, um, one big note there, a big highlight was, Falcons rookie quarterback Desmond Ritter actually tossed a 20-yard pass to rookie wide receiver Drake London during their 11-on-11 portion of practice. Um, But right after that, they did kind of ask Drake London, who does he have the better chemistry with? Now, even though it's just day two and, you know, day one was just you know, getting adjusted to the heat, just kind of, you know, it's the first time, it's the first feel. It's kind of early to ask that question, media, but nonetheless, they had to go there. But Drake London said, they are both so new to me. I have been playing with either of them. I'm definitely getting a groove for both of them. We are steady going in the right direction with both of them. He also said, definitely two mobile quarterbacks who can run at any time if they want to. But at the same time, they got pocket presence. I think they are just guys you want leading your team at the end of the day. Well said, Drake London. Well said. That's how you handle that media, you guys. You kind of, you know, give them a little jabs here and there. It's like, look, you know, you call them out. We're not ready to answer that question yet. We just started. He said, I'm just getting here, getting adjusted, you know. So give these players time before we go for the juggler there. But on the other side of the ball, Grady Jarrett um, said there was a big surprise in drills yesterday that the coaches did call out, mainly the leaders, and to see who wanted to compete. Now, the fact that he says surprise, that word right there is just kind of showing me that Once again, as we always repeat, doesn't seem like the previous regime was holding these players accountable, calling them out, making them do what they're supposed to be doing. And that is leading, you know, interacting, being a big asset to make sure because, hey, the leader is not on point. Everybody else follows suits. So, you know, that was just kind of interesting enough I got from that conference. I was like, hmm. Is that something we know we're getting a little bit of uh, look exclusive to what the old regime was all about and why they're no longer here? <laughs> all that favoritism, divaness. I'm not practicing because I don't feel like it. Hint, hint. 
but we ain't gonna go there but also grady jared did kind of poke fun at those new guardian caps that the players would uh, wear he said they look like big afros to him i said they look like bobbleheads or uh, minecraft characters <laughs> they are huge and he also said that they pack a heavy punch too you know or heat as well so i know that's something they have to get adjusted to but it's all about player safety in that regard so i'm glad the nfl is definitely on board and we have players with good bill of health going into day three this morning hey knock on wood there they remain healthy <clears throat> but last but not least special honor of the day was former center todd mcclure was surprised by you know we had mike Merlurky coming in we also had um, Justin Blaylock and Tyson Clayble all were in attendance to, you know, honor him because guess what? He had just learned the announcement of his selection to the franchise ring of honor, man. You know, I'm, I'm happy. I am so happy about that. He is just, he got me pumped, you know, and he just, the way he is so humbled and, you know, that was just, a, you know, a very, very, uh, memorable player on this franchise and one that was always loyal to the brand you know and I'm excited to see that he gets a chance to be recognized definitely but until the next time that's all I got it looks like I knocked this out within less than 10 minutes I'm doing my thing you guys I'm trying to get you guys as much information as I can possibly give you but until the next time it's Maggie T with Atlanta Falcons Nation and we are the nation hey home team we out peace <laughs>